Good morning guys. Well, it's almost like 11 o'clock, so it's not really morning. Unfortunately, last night we had some really bad weather in my area. Fortunately, tornadoes did not hit currently where I live. I do live in a mobile home in Alabama, and I went up to my mom's house. She has a basement and stayed there for the night. So I was really thankful that I had somewhere to go because we had some hail, tornadoes, a lot of people lost some home. Thankfully, at this point in time, Monday morning at 11 o'clock, there has not been too many injuries and there hasn't been a single death. A few years ago, we had a really bad tornado system hit Alabama in multiple places. I and mean, we had a lot, a lot of big tornadoes, like four to 500 people actually died. So it's always a scary moment this time of year when our local weather person says we're going to have an active tornado season. And all this week, we've been having hail. We've had th bad thunderstorms. And then we have beautiful days like today. I don't know if you guys can see outside, but it's... It's beautiful now and it's actually kind of cooler because the system cooled everything off. But I did go to my mom's. So let me go ahead and tell you guys that I did start reading Sarah J. Masters Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood. And I have only gotten to page seven. So I'm actually going to start on chapter six next and go from there. Love the world building so far. I love how Sarah J. Mass can spit tons of information off at you really, really quickly and expect you to learn it. I did read this in between like watching the weather for tornadoes last night and being nervous about that. A lot has happened the first five chapters. I love the friendship building so far. I love the main character's attitude on things. I'm at the end of chapter five and some things are kind of swinging from that. But yeah, the friendship building was really nice. The background on so many characters so quickly was done excellently. I love Sarah J. Masters writing. I love the urban fantasy part of this. I love the magic system, the, the lack thereof, and the magic system. If you guys read this book, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And I'm really interested into getting back into this at some point today and carrying on. But I want to make the TikTok coffee. If you guys have not seen it, it's been all over TikTok. It's been all over YouTube. Everybody's making this like instant coffee, like a whipped cream type coffee that goes on top of like milk or almond milk. I drink almond milk, so I'll be doing almond milk. So I want to go try that out. And then I just need to get a couple of things done inside my house. I have some laundry I need to do. I just want to go through and clean all my blankets that are dirty. Not like this one, but the ones that recently have been used need to be washed. My sheets need to be washed. My comforter needs to be washed today. I haven't washed it in like a week. And I'm, I'm pretty good about washing things like that. So And yeah, I do want to do a little bit of yard work. So I might listen to an audiobook while I do the yard work. I just recently got an outside pen for my dog, so I had to pull up a couple of bricks where the pen went, but yeah, it's not like a pen, it's an outdoor fenced-in backyard. I don't even know why I said pen. But anyways, there's just some things I want to do. I need to spray for weeds around my house so the snakes stay down this year because we are probably going to have a bad snake season. So yeah, let's go ahead and make that TikTok drink and let's get on with the day. Okay guys, this is the first time I've ever made this, so we're either going to fail or succeed all together. So let's make this TikTok coffee that everybody is raving about on YouTube right now. So first off, I think this was correct. Folgers Classic Roast, the Instant Coffee Crystals. This is what Alicia Marie had, so and she made it and it came out pretty good. So I'm just gonna use this. So you gotta do, I'm just gonna do four because I'm gonna copy her exact recipe. And let's see how it goes. So that's three and four. Four. And then you're going to do four tablespoons of regular white sugar. So we got one, two, three, and four. And I am going to use my KitchenAid to whip this up really good because everybody else was like hand mixing it or using like a hand beater. And I just, Alicia Marie used this and I have one, so let's use that. Then you're going to do four tablespoons of warm to hot water. Three and Four. And then all I'm going to do is turn this on and turn it on to whip. So let's do a time lapse. Sorry, 
Okay, guys, here's that TikTok coffee. It looks actually really good. I unfortunately, I don't have any ice. I need to run out and get some ice from the local gas station that's like two minutes down the road from me, if that. But anyways, guys, I have actually not tried this yet. So let's just try like the coffee mixture without the milk first and let me see what it tastes like. Okay, it's, it's not really sweet. So if you want it a little bit sweeter, if your, cough, if your milk is not sweet, maybe put more sugar in it. I, I'm not sure what the ratio is supposed to be. It still has that bitter, like instant coffee flavor to me, which I personally like. But let's mix this up. But yeah, I don't have any ice. I wish I had some ice. Okay, now let's try it that it's all a little bit more like mixed up. It feels like almost like a, a runny pudding now. Oh my God. <gasps> That's like really good. I did vanilla almond milk because I don't do regular milk. But um, when it's mixed together, that's actually really, really good. It's not as amazing as like everybody's making it out to be, but it is still really good. Anyways, I'm going to finish this up or I'm going to drink this while I'm getting some work done. And time for me to clean my house up a little bit. Okay, guys, this is what I really want to work on today. We are not painting outside of my home just yet so what I think I'm about doing is I have this little area right beside the new side fence and all these bricks came up from like right here my grandfather had like a makeshift garden bed right here so I'm thinking about still using them not all of them because some of them are broken but using them and make a small like garden bed right here that I could put like mint basil like maybe not mint because mint will take up the whole thing but like basil and just like a little herb garden right here on the side of the house planting up my garden or half of my garden and trying to get that fixed up I did listen to the audiobook of Clockwork Angel I did start this back in January and I just I'm not gonna say I lost interest I just lost interest in reading in general now I listened to the audiobook while I was doing all of that and I really am enjoying this story but now I think I'm going to go jump in the shower I think I might have gotten into a little bit of poison oak while I was outside but that's fine um, I think I'm a little bit immune to it if you can be immune to poison oak, but I have a poison oak, poison ivy, um, well, that's a bruise, bar of soap, so I can just take a shower with that. It usually does the job, and yeah, I do have a little bit of work to do this afternoon, so let me get shower done. I gotta finish up some laundry. Okay guys, sorry about the dryer, if you can hear it in the background but it's like 720 something like that 717 720 but i want to tell you where i got to the audiobook and clockwork angel by cassandra claire and i got to chapter right before chapter 10 so 222 pages and as of right now i'm liking this book it's not my favorite cassandra claire book ever but i'm liking the characters i'm liking her writing but as of right now the story's kind of eh it is good but it's not bad either yeah it's just okay for right now i'm hoping something kind of picks up soon they're about to go off and do like an adventure type thing i don't want to give away spoilers if you haven't read this but that's where i'm at right now and yeah i think that's where i'm going to finish off in clockwork angel for the night i do want to maybe read an hour of crescent city by sarah j mass because a lot of stuff went down last night and i need to know what's going to happen from here guys do any of you have a dog that does this? Come on, Dakota. Every night, I have to go outside and get her toys from the backyard because she takes all her stuffed animals that she can get a hold of to the backyard. You see that one? Yep. So let's go get them. It's starting to get a little, like, my camera looks dark, I mean, brighter than it actually is, but, yeah. 
every night. So she's got three out here. I think I only allowed her to have three today. <laughs> so let's pick it up. And I like, have to throw these in the wash like every other day because she brings them out here. And as of right now, all of this is dirt. Pretty much. I need to figure out how to get some grass growing out here. But yeah, so let me pick up Dakota's toys and time for us to go lay down on the couch, have some quality time together, and let's read some books. Dakota, hey pretty girl. <laughs> for today and I'm gonna start a new vlog for the reading rush which started today but let me go ahead and tell you guys I did a horrible job in this reading vlog but anyways I got to page 310 which is chapter 14 in Clockwork Angel and I haven't really picked this back up I didn't pick it up at all yesterday and I really want to for the rest of the day I think it's like four o'clock yeah it's almost like four o'clock and I really want to pick this up a little bit before I get my workout in here in a little while. I haven't really done much today other than work out this morning. I did some work. Took Dakota on two walks today. She, she is so exhausted. She's laying down on the floor because she's so tired from all the walks. Which is really good because I got a lot of work done today. And yeah, that's about it, what I've done today. Let's go ahead and do a check-in in Crescent City. And so I'm currently on page, I'm going really slow with this guys because there's so much information that I want to remember. So I'm on page 180, which is right before chapter 16. So I really haven't gotten that far. And yeah, I, I'm really loving the story. I'm liking where it's going now. I love stuff at the beginning without giving too much spoilers. Hated some stuff in the middle. And now I'm loving getting all these different different perspectives of different people so we're not just getting the perspective of the story from one person we're getting it from multiple people and I always like books that do that if they can do them well I'm really liking this so far City of Angel or Clockwork Angel yeah it, it's good but it's just not something that is holding my attention for too too long so I'm hoping some stuff like really happens here in the next few chapters or next few pages because it's just like everything's kind of predictable at this point. I don't even know if I want to pick up the next ones. And I love Cassandra Clare. I love her writing. I'm just, I don't know, I'm kind of bored with this right now. But maybe if I possibly pick up another audiobook or carry on with Crescent City, that I'd be more willing to go back to Clockwork Angel. So anyways, guys, I hope everybody enjoyed this vlog. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing everybody soon in my next video. Bye! <laughs> Thank you.